well here we go again um, I'm back at Tetton um, for my second my second go uh, after that good good um, session last time it was cut shells a bit with um, the owner next and next and the next swim um, cutting trees down and stuff I think it ruined it a bit so I packed up but anyway yeah I've come back but this time I'm just on a day session and it's a it's a good few weeks since I fished it uh, I've done a river fishing being an Aldi and stuff and I've just not got back to here oh my car car needed a job doing it so I didn't want to go down the motorway or I'd have come here last week but anyway so yeah just come for a day session uh, come up to the end of October now so it's cooled down and last week or this week should I say because it's Sunday um, Thursday Friday and a bit Saturday absolutely bucketed it down and there's been a weather warning in the country and all that so um, not sure how all this water is going to affect the fishing it's lovely today though that's why I've come here I knew it was forecast sunshine so missus is working I thought sod it let's just get out just hopefully it's fishable but water levels up a bit but it's still still well fishable so uh, got here literally just as it was coming light and I've been fishing for about an hour um, I've just had a funny occurrence on my right hand rod so hopefully that means there's things feeding I don't know I just thought come here last time I was here I got most of my bites in the daytime so I thought sod it let's just, just go for it I need to give this a go I was tempted to go piking but I've, I've restrained I've restrained for another week or two I need to I want to keep coming here while I can and then switch over to piking when it just gets too cold so it's, it's been lovely today um, yeah so looking forward to it nice day session not, not as much gear to hot lug so yes yeah, loving it as you can see I'm in the same swim as last time I wasn't sure where to go and I thought I'm gonna start here and see what happens uh, looks like all that them bushes have been burnt from last time that got chainsawed up um, as you see water level is up rods in the water there just about to redo my right rod um, yeah so it's up a few feet because the water level was up to them reeds last time so it's come up a bit like but absolutely cracking day absolutely lovely look at that so I have got one close, closest in, close-ish in, um, just to my left there, and the other one is fishing to the far bank. So that's for the moment, anyway. That's what that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'm hoping just to. I'm hoping just for one bite today. It, it has hammered it down with rain, so I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle, but it's still still mild, so. Still hopeful. <laughs> the owners there fishing on that. That this is the last swim I found out. I wasn't sure in my last video, but yeah, this is the last swim, and then that's the owners land there. I had, a, I had a chat to him, so yeah, I know this is the last swim now. And then I'm not sure which is our last swim on the other bank, but I've not even walked down there. Yet. I was going to go down there today, but. Um, I can't work out which is our swim. It'll probably be obvious when you go down there. But um, yeah, I don't think we've got that. I think it's round about that big tree sticking up somewhere around there, just past. I'm not sure. So for now, we're fishing here. If we have to move, because fish are showing everywhere else, I am going to do it today. So, right. I'm going to make a brew, chill out for a bit, get my rod back in, and um, just see if we can nick a fish. Eleven o'clock, and apart from the sun coming out and it being absolutely toasty warm, um, nothing's happened. Even the coats come off. It's absolutely glorious. It's nice just being here. Nice bit of sun before winter properly kicks in. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. I've had one half a chance where it dropped back a bit and I just hit it because I lost them fish uh, last time I was here. I'm a bit panicky now. 
Um, so yeah, as soon as anything happens, I get a drop back or a few bleeps, I'm just hitting them. And if, if they're not on, they're not on. Um, it's one of them, isn't it? Not taking any chances, not going to let the run develop too much like I normally do. Uh, usually not in that much of a rush because the fish locks up, but... No, not after last time because they're just running towards me and then kiting to the left and then gaining a snag. I've run, I've run a lead through it last time and I could not find the snag. I don't know what the hell it's, what it is. Some, somebody said there was like scaffolding bars in or something and there'd be loads of muscles on them or something and um, just get cut off. But yeah, I've run the lead through it a few times. Uh, I've not brought me, me marker rod this time, but I uh, couldn't find anything last time. Um, I brought one of my rods in before for 15 minutes on a quick spin, but uh, couldn't get into it. When you don't know, even know if there's fish in here, and you need to be mobile as well, spinning. You can't just keep casting in one swim. I need to do like the full, full half of this lake in half an hour, but um, I can't be bothered winding in all my rods and stuff and then going for a wandering. Getting them back out, especially if I don't know there's any pike in here. Um, trying to not let my mind wander to pike at the moment. Um, but, why the sun's like this, I'm not bothered. I'll be cart fishing. If it's nice, I might come on next week, next Friday night and do a full full night and day. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But yeah, at the moment, nothing's happened. Most excitement I've had is I uh, put the radio on and had a couple of brews. Uh, just been speaking to two guys who Prince Albert who used to have it and they reckoned it's not very good here but I didn't tell them what I'd had like but I thought bloody hell I wouldn't have said that last last time I was here they've said oh they, they always fished sparrow because that was better but I don't know we'll see you can only find out by fishing it oh did I believe on me right one I've just moved me right, well actually I've just put them both to the far bank again now because uh, in the margin I didn't even get a bleep off in it, I'd had that half a run from the far bank and I've had a few bleeps before and so I thought I might be over there, I'm just going to keep, I'm fishing one static and I'm just going to keep moving one every couple of hours, but 11 o'clock already, living days goes too quick when you're day session, so we'll see, I want, I'm still, still hopeful for one fish, but we'll see. So there's what we just had and this is what's been given me these daft runs I assume because exact same type of bite little tiny bream
last, at last the carp has took me bait about one o'clock. I've had bream bites after bream bites, must have had five, five runs off bream, I can tell the bream bites. Right. So, it's took a while but the carp's finally took the bait and it's not bad. I've just weighed it, it was 21, three. Um, but obviously I've got a sling and I'm just, it's pretty wet so I'm guessing it's 18 and a half or something like that. I'll check in a minute but I'm not crouching down, kneeling down because bloody waterlogged everywhere but it's, it's about 18 and 19 pound, I'll double check but it's a big cracker. Didn't fight that well actually. I've been resting a bit while I've got my rods back out on my rod. Oh it's lovely catching. Oh, it's a good shot, uh, oh. It's a bit lively. What a belter. Lovely. Well worth coming now for a day sesh. Absolutely made up. A couple of bream and a, a nice fat cap. Oh, cracker. I like catching mirrors, I think I've said it before. I got cracked in the face last time here. By that big one, that 28. It cracked me in the face. Come on, come on, baby. Oh. There we go. There we go. Belter. <sighs> you never know, there might be time for one more. Getting greedy. Well, we've got till about six, seven o'clock tonight, and it's one o'clock, so I've got a few hours left. So, if you get a little feeding spell, you never know, I might get another. Right, let's get it back. Now you have a minute. Oh, just had a bleep on me rod. <laughs> Going sulking. What's it doing? No way. Oh, that was a turn up for the bucks. I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. Getting breamed out all day. I was hoping that the carp would move in at some point, but kind of, kind of wasn't expecting it, to be honest. Uh, come out at 19, 11, if I worked it out right. It was 1.8 me sling and 21.3. So yeah, 19, 11, I think that works out. A bit bigger than I thought, to be honest. But uh, it looks, I'm going to have to check when I get home, but it does actually look like the one I had last time, and that was £19. So I'm going to check my photos when I get home. Um, rods are back in. Um, just had a bleep when I was releasing that fish then. I just had a bleep on my right one again, but it's been doing that all, been doing that all day, and then um, bream have moved in. So, yeah. I knew that wasn't a bream bite then, I was, I was doing my left rod and um, the right rod right bobbing shot up to the top but then a fish locked up and um, it was like bowstring tight and I thought that's not a bream, not a bream at all so um, yeah but it didn't fight that well I thought it was going to be a little um, little cricket bat common or something like about seven pound but no yeah. it fought a bit more when it got dead close in but Compared to last time I was here, when I got that first fish here, and it was about £19, that pulled my arm off. So, I don't know, strange, isn't it? Well, I think it's time for a brew. I think I've earned a brew there and a bit of a tidy up. I just had to pull all my... I had everything in my unhooking cradle, all my bits and bobs, and I've had to pull them all out and all on top of my barrow now. So everything's everywhere, so I'm going to have a little tidy up. It's like a bomb city. So, yeah, hopefully... Hopefully we'll have one more um, 
confidence is up now. As soon as you have a fish, your confidence, all your doubts disappear, don't they? And your confidence is um, on an all time high. So yeah, one more would be good. And then oh, I just want to keep coming here before, I want to try and restrain from um, pike fishing, yeah. Because it's too warm, it's too mild at the moment. So I want to keep keep coming in and doing a bit of carp fishing. So, right, let's see if we can get one more and, and uh, have a brew and a tidy up. was a bit mad. I, um, I was just putting the um, fish that he had on the mat and then my bloody left rod went again and um, just pulled this one out. This is the second one that I just added. This is the one that's just... just give me a rub. This is the smaller the one of the two. This is about... I've not weighed this but it's about 14-ish or something like that. Quite thin one. 13, 14 pound. Um, Give a cracking fight though, it's only that first one that's not fought that well. Come on. There we go. Oh, hey. There we go. Bloody belter. Bloody belter. I made up with it. Well, what a session, little day session. Three bloody fish. And the stamp of them as well. I mean, this is not tiny, 14 pounds, 19. And then my next one's bigger again, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this one sorted pretty quick. Because I've got no landing net now in case I get anything else. So there you go. Whip. Lovely fish, lovely fish. Favourite water this at the moment. I'm absolutely loving coming here. I've only been here twice, but um, the runs and the fish, brilliant. Brilliant stamp. So, right, I'm going to get this one back and show you the, the bigger one. <laughs> it's going. The other one's going mad. Uh, right, this is the bigger one. This is a doozer. Short, lovely colours on it. Dead light. Dead light colours. I think that's just gone out of my net. I was giving it a minute, but I think it's gone out. Um, dead short, dumpy, an ounce, oh, bit of grass on it, an ounce under £24. <laughs> what a do, bloody flat one, short and fat. Whoa, get that. <laughs> what a cracker, what an absolute cracker. Still not got my left rod in, I wanted to sort these fish out first. But yeah, what a doozer of a fish. Stamp of fish in here is mad. Like the chlorites on steroids. The fishy, the nut. Get a few runs, I had a few bream. Getting plagued with bream, but then all of a sudden the carp had moved in, which is what I was hoping. I didn't think it was going to happen, but that's what I was hoping. But yeah, what a fish that is. Second 20 out of here. There's a lovely scales on it. Right. Oh, these have been in resting for long enough. I'm going to sort them out now. Let them go and get my rod back in and have some to eat because I've had nothing to eat yet. So, since we brekkie. Getting ready. Come on.
10 minutes has passed since I showed you them two fish with that 20 in there and as you can see and you've pr probably just seen on the other little footage the my left rod's gone again 10 minutes after releasing them I didn't didn't even have a chance to have somebody to make a brew or anything I just put some stuff away and actually had a couple of beeps and I thought oh, our bloody bream's back and then it just it just went dead tight and um, pulled up tight and it's in the sling and it's another 20 <laughs> can't believe it can't believe it another 20 pounder so it's just just rest in there a second just for one minute while I get my camera back out because I had to charge it up because it was dying so I'll show you now 21 14 another little short um, chunky thing with the nice fish as well so yeah another 20 out of here it's amazing so do I show you that I'll do my rod I might do my rod first My left one's just beeped again, I was about to do this. Right, let's, let's hurry up with this. What can I say? Another 20. Didn't even get a chance to make a brew. Put that left rod in and it's gone again. And that's the one that's getting bleeps again. That was nice. Oh, it's nice. Nice catching um, mirrors. It is. I'm just checking my rod there. Um, yeah, can't really say much more. F already exceeded what I expected. I didn't expect. I thought of a catch out, it'll be one one fish. Well, yeah, just gonna keep my eye on that rod there. I'm gonna have something to eat now if nothing happens. And then, because I'm only gonna get home about seven o'clock tonight, if it's, it's a fair walk to the car, and then you've got to pack up the car, and then it's gonna going to be dark and it's going to be half seven or something like that before they get home maybe quarter to eight if the m6 is okay but yeah what a doozer of a session i'm going to get this back just in case this rod takes off but yeah two good sessions on here up to now if it carries on i'll just be fishing here all the time probably but we'll see there we are look at the scales on that Lovely. Get him ready that now. Chunkiness of that. gone well i've got about 45 minutes fishing left now so um i may as well do this bit of an outro because i'm going to pack everything away now um, fish off my batter for the last half an hour 45 minutes i've literally oh since that since he had them that last fish i uh, we had them few bleeps anyway i left it and left it and i thought i'm bringing it in brought it in there's a bloody bream on it tiny bream so it was a good job I brought her in, it was only wasted half an hour. Um, yeah, bloody little bream on the end. So I've just redone it now and I've just picked up my phone to do this. And um, bloody caught another bream, so it looks like the bream are moving back in. The cat must have disappeared now and it um, looks like the bream moved back in. So I'll go, I'll go do another half hour, 45 minutes and then um, call it a day. Be going dark not long after that anyway. Sun's gone in now, it's gone a bit chillier. So yeah, I'm half packed up. I'm just gonna put all this stuff away and all, all my cooker and everything. Might make one last brew and then um, put my cooker away. But yeah, um, cracking session though. Bloody cracking day session, that two 20s. Well, just four fish in general, just good, but two of them being 20 as well, couldn't believe it. But I just had like a mad feeding spell from like one o'clock till three o'clock and then that's it just like two hours of like bedlam and then quiet but i think that's what's going to happen on on here probably as it gets later and later in the year then feeding spells will will come smaller and smaller and if they happen 
So we'll see anyway, I'll see how long I can keep coming here. It might be different next time if it's absolutely hammering it down and sat here in the mud. Might not be quite as enjoyable. It's been lovely today, so. Anyway, good second, good first session, good second session. Let's see how we go on next time. Um, so yeah. So thanks for watching anyway, and uh, see you next time. So much for putting all my stuff away. <laughs> Ah oh my word, just another 20 in here, um, 21, 11 I think it was, I don't know if I've had this one, I don't know, I'll have to check but it looks so familiar and it's, I've had one at 21, I can't even remember today now, it's just been a mad blur, so, yeah, I just packed most, no, I've started packing everything up and it just ripped off, I'm still not packed up. I've still got one rod, one rod out, so I might redo it and then get packed up. Now I don't think I've had this one before. Yeah, it's just under twenty-two pound. Uh, if I worked it out right, come up twenty-nine. I forgot where it come out now. Twenty-nine something, and it come out at seven pounds something. The, the mat, the cradle, because I put my other thing away. So yeah, uh, just under twenty-two. Third, tw third 20 today. <laughs> Amazing. What a cracking fish. Thought it was a bream at first. It beeped a few times like a bream. And then I, I picked my rod up to feel a line, see if it was like still on because I've had a couple of... Uh, I could feel a bream on the line, but... And then um, I put the rod back down and thought, no, I don't know if it's on. Next minute it just bloody took off. So yeah, superb. What a session, what a session. Right, I think this will definitely be the last one, even though my right arm rod's just bleeped. I'm never gonna get home here. There we go anyway. I think that will be the last one.